You know, I had an aunt that was a painter, and she took me under her wing. So she started putting me in shows when I was eight. Like, the first painting I sold was St. Saint, Saint Basil's Cathedral. And I was eight years old, and the, the, um, the woman bought it was an art teacher, and she wanted to fuck with her class. She says, this is a really good painting, right? And then, and then they'll go, yeah. Eight-year-old did it. <laughs> Get off your fucking asses and learn how to paint, you know? So anyway. One of the first most famous paintings I made, I, um, I was dreaming. And in my dream, I went to this museum, and I saw this painting. And I thought, fuck, I wish I would have thought of that idea. That eyes are so perfect. Damn. And then I woke up. And I, th I looked around, I thought, I'm going to steal that idea. And I still, to this day, feel like I stole the idea. But I stole the idea from some artist that lives in my head. Well, like right now, I'm trying to, um, I was thinking about what it was like to be a little kid. You know, like maybe we got in the yard and we would dig these little troughs. And, and um, then they would be roads for our little matchbook cars. And, and I just remember, like, I mean, it didn't seem like grass and rocks. It seemed like the Grand Canyon. Or, you know, like, I remember, like, what it was like to have an imagination as a little boy. But then I had no skill set to let people see what I was seeing in my head when I was playing. So, so this next show, like, the idea behind it is, is what, what if, you know, like, this 50-year-old man who's developed a skill set over the last, you know, 40 years, what if he could go back and re-be that 8-year-old boy and say, let, let me do this for you. you. You just help me remember what it was you saw and, and I'll make it like real. It would be, be like a collaboration with my, my former self, you know. You can make a routine and you can make music and art through the process and a routine. But the one, the stuff that's truly inspirational, that's, you don't have a lot of control over that. That's the God or whoever's talking to you. It's on their own time and when they want to give it to you and, and here, there it is, you know.